everybody, and welcome to this video with myself and Georgina. And we are back with the Bark Strad LR 190-43B. Whew, that's a long one. <laughs> it's exhausting. <laughs> um, but it's part of the 190 series. And the, the other one, the LT190, is the lightweight, which we've done a separate video about. Mm. Uh, this, however, is a slightly different spec and has a slightly different kind of vibe. It's a different animal. Yeah, it? and it's got this incredible engraving on there. Yeah, they're beautiful. It's be aren't they? Absolutely beautiful. It's like a Porsche. Yeah. Oh, blimey. Okay, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's expensive, not that expensive. But <laughs> I suppose maybe relatively. So, on the bit of spec, and then we're going to let Georgie loose on it so she can give it a, a good blast. The bell is bronze, but it is a standard weight compared to the commercial model, which has a lightweight bell. Okay. So with a standard weight, you tend to get slightly broader, maybe darker, not quite as zingy. That's, okay. that's the thing, All isn't right. it? That commercial's really zippy yeah, and, yeah, and lively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so 43 taper. Um, so we've done another video about that in terms of 43 versus 37. So I'm not going to bore you too much about that now. But bronze bell, uh, French beaded rim, so a little bit of nickel silver in the end there, just gives some uh, solidity to the end of the bell for the resonance. But this has the standard water keys. It does. It has the, uh, yeah, the standard pull knobs on the uh, slide slides there. It does. Uh, as opposed to on the commercial again, where they've lost a bit of weight. Yeah, on those. Yeah, yeah, they're very different. They've got mm. that crescent shaped thing, haven't mm. they? Also, it's a reverse lead pipe on this model. So. That essentially means that the lead pipe just comes into the main tuning slide internally. But so it's smooth. It's smooth. It's a smooth transition for the air. Exactly. So there's no turbulence. And it, it's really difficult. We get asked that a lot, what does it do? But it just sets the resistance a little bit further. Okay. And it depends on the player and all that sort of stuff. You've got to try it. Yeah. Which is oh, true. You've a really got to try it because sometimes you think, oh, I just want a reverse lead pipe. Oh, I just want not. And you, you, you really don't know. No. It's good just to be handed trumpets and people go, oh, that sounds amazing. Or that's, oh, that's not as good. You, and sometimes you can't tell from the back. Exactly. You know, so yeah. it's good to have people listening. Yeah. And each trumpet has its own little characteristics. Oh, as we're yeah. About to find out. Well, <laughs> we have not named this one yet, but. No. <laughs> She has to play yeah. it and then name it. And then play it and then okay. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's So let's it. hear a little bit and then we'll get okay. your feedback, Georgie. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, well, um, I do, I, I like it. I mean, the thing with these backs and this one especially, the, the slots are all, they're really, they're really there, you know, the, the massive, and it's, I mean, it is up to you to find them. But once you've found them, the, the good, you know, the kind of very well signposted slots there, it feels like a secure thing to play. You kind of trust it to do what That's you good. want it to do, you yeah. know. Um, so, it, yeah, you put a lot of trust in it, and especially when you're playing for a camera for <laughs> trumpet players. Front of people. But, yeah, but you put a lot of trust in it, and, it, and, it's, and it's friendly, it's nice to you, and it's got enough sizzle and enough um, thing to cut through, yeah. but it's also got, a, like, a, I feel it's got a, a warm edge to it as well. Yeah, there's a bit really. of depth, Yeah, there's there? a bit of depth and darkness. It's not just built for um, speed. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> speed and high, you know, yeah. it's, got, it's built for other so, things. It's a diesel Porsche. Yeah, yeah exactly, no. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I think that's achieved probably with that balance of the standard weight bell and, and the lightweight body. Yeah. But it's maybe not as zippy and, and lively as the commercial. Yeah. So is it, do you feel like it takes a little less air or maybe there's a bit of a ceiling? I, I, don't, I, yeah. we don't, I don't mean that in a bad way. No, but. no. I mean, I don't think you need to put as much air okay. down, down this one as the other one. Um, the, the, these backs seem to make a ni nice sound, whatever level of air you want to put down them. Really, um, the commercial you can you can really put a lot of air down it, and it's very very zippy at the top. I mean, I'll, I'll just try a couple of octave things on this to see what yeah. it feels like. Cool. But this is um, yeah, it's, it's really nice. Yeah, I mean you can um, you can give it something. It will it will play up there. It's not going to take as quite as much air as the commercial, mm -hmm. but the notes are there, and they've all got a real quality quality of sound to them. I think as well. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah it's um, it, it will it will do it, but you, you don't you know you, you can't give it quite as much, but it's all no. there and the slots are all there and the sounds all there and it's lovely. And if you don't want to be putting absolutely tons of air down a trumpet to get some reward, then this is good. Well, I think people can see playing trumpet is, and you'll know if you're watching, it's a very physical affair. Yeah, and you're 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 putting so much into it. Yeah. You know, we can see that even here, just doing the demos. Yeah. And you're doing that for two or three hours of a night, yeah. leading a big band or something. It's, yeah. it's an effort. Yeah, absolutely. But I think that still sounds like it's got the power to go. And maybe even... Absolutely. More versatile, if there's uh, more classical players or more, you know, yeah. straight up kind absolutely. of playing. absolutely, yeah. That would have a nice enough, beautiful oh, sound to really do that really with. Oh, really lovely sound. And, and like, really, like, you could probably play this in a very controlled and, and, and lots of dynamic range to it as well, you yeah. know, nice and quietly. So you can see it can it'll open up, you know, it'll have the fuzzy sound that um, people buy these really, really heavy trumpets, don't they, that are, yeah. you play them all night just to get like a, a warm fuzzy sound at the bottom. But I think these can deliver, have, that. deliver, deliver that yeah. and the sizzly side as well. Yeah, you know? I think they've done a really good job and I think that warmth comes from the, the extra copper that you find in a right. bronze bell. Because copper generally gives warmth and, and nickel uh, gives uh, projection. So okay. they've done a really good job of balancing that up within the trumpet and yeah. also within the commercial. So do check that video out as well. Yeah. But cool. So good all round, bit of everything as we've done. You can hear the difference with that and the commercial yeah. one. Um, well, the comfortable fingerings and uh, I like, I mean, I do like the old fashioned water keys myself, but I know that, you know, everyone's got different uh, opinions. But um, yeah, it's lovely. Love it hold. Looks absolutely stunning. Yeah. Feels like a million dollars in your hand. And it's just a really trustworthy trumpet that you can. You know, if you practice on it, you're gonna it's gonna achieve what you want to achieve. You practice. Know? practice. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You'd well, feel like doing it with one of these. That's true. Yeah, you buy would. this so yeah, you can do you some would. practice. You would feel like doing it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you spent that money. You probably should practice. <laughs> All right, cool. So that's that's the LR one ninety forty three B, and uh, Georgie, if you can just play us a little bit to okay. blow us out, that'd be great. <laughs> 